right, here is the video review for the number 57, or number 57, uh, Manhunter. This is Deep Sea Ripper. Uh, they did, they've done a lot of different model kits. In the Manhunter line, I know they have at least previously done one called Grave Frog, which is some frogs in tactical battle armor. It looks kind of almost like Halo or Doom type, you know, combat armor. Whereas this is Deep Sea Ripper, who is clearly a mecha shark in undersea mech armor and posability wise is actually really nice because you can open up the fingers here on the uh the claws here on the arm you can see there's ball joints up here there's a there's a swivel here at the elbow hinge joints uh there at the el elbow as well as up here at the shoulder um the head is actually fairly limited there is a ball joint in there but the piece that connects to it uh makes it uh and, and just the shape of the head and these side pieces. The head doesn't get a whole lot of movement, but it is there. But he's got like a rotatable waist. There's a ball joint at the waist. There's a ball joint at the hip. There's a hinged kind of knee slash thighs. And then a double barbell uh, ball joint there at the foot. The toes are poseable, although they mostly fold, just fold down for a quote unquote transformation. We'll get to that in a little bit. And he's got these missile pods also on ball joints up here on his back that you can twist and aim around up here like that. His tail's poseable, uh, can wiggle back and forth, and come up and down. There's a joint in the middle. But some really nice, you can see the little turbines. And this is completely unpainted. This is just the plastic built straight out of the box. The heads are painted, but the heads come painted. You do get um, a set of unpainted heads. We'll show those off in a minute. Um, also, in the, uh, in the package, there's a little landmine. It was just like a little posable wire holding it up. A little, not a landmine, a depth charge uh, that can sit there and float, but you can pose it however you want. It comes with the two pieces of this wire, so if you mess one up, you can get another one. But um, a little depth charge and then a little rocket launcher pod that I'm not supposed to look like you're loading it because it comes apart in a couple different ways. Like this comes off and this comes off. Um, you build it as these separate pieces. And I don't know if that's just for the color. Like this, like up here, it makes sense to have some of the orange coming through to make this the, the colored plastic piece. This back here, like it's clearly intended to do something, but uh, I'm not entirely sure what. Maybe just click and rotate like that. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, it comes with a handle that unfortunately uh, he can't hold. And so there's a little tab in there. Other characters may be able to hold this weapon, but uh, it's not something that plums in. You can, if you want, you can fold the handle up and plug it on to either side of one of his shoulder attachments. That's really the only place there's holes that you can plug that in at because it won't fit in the, uh, this is just a, the ball socket. These are identical pieces, so the ball socket on this side is uh, would be the ball socket in here on this side. But uh, yeah, he's got a white fin. And he's got this other little harpoon cannon thing, which one you can also attach right here. Uh, if you want to just arm them up some more, you can also use this. Actually, I, the gun could probably work here too, although it would look a little bit more awkward. But this whole assembly that has a, these uh, cannons attached as a ball at, at the ball joints, there's like a support structure there. And you can unplug that. So if you want to give them like a smaller, like weaponized backpack, you can plug this in up here. And it still looks cool, but without the giant, uh, giant pods that this piece has. And like I said, you can conceivably... Uh, also, I'm pretty sure it's the same peg hole. You can put that on his back if you want him to have like a giant missile. But it, that one looks a lot more awkward than this does. This one looks like it could be just a smaller reserve backpack tank. That just looks like he's got a missile. Although maybe in, in alt mode. Because he does have technically an alt mode. And we'll show that off real quick. Let me put this back on. It's, uh, it's basically just you put these up on top. You bring his tail up, and he's articulated to allow this transformation. You flip this up, you can see that spine kind of goes up into the upper body. And then this whole backpack assembly, the head up here rotates up. You can see there's a little slot there for his fin to go into. So up like that, so he's oriented. One, just for action poses, maybe swim through the ocean like this. But uh, also, then you can take these pods and fold them up like that on the side. And then this is where I was talking about this. This piece down here, you can see there's kind of a little 
there's a there's this double barbell here in the foot and then this little tab here that for standing gives it, it doesn't let this sink as far into the foot and it gives it a little bit more structure when when standing up in mech mode um, you do get just a plain double barbell that's supposedly for transformation but i found that the extra movement the little bit of extra movement you get out of swapping this up when you fold this up onto the back of the leg doesn't really because you can see like that barbell doesn't really allow that to it doesn't go much further than that so you're not really getting a whole lot of extra movement versus the uh the frustration of popping out a double barbell and then popping one in so i just leave the standing ones in there you can swap it out it's not that big of a deal i mean like it, it goes fairly securely but over time you don't want to risk wearing out that socket or the ball joint itself and uh I, I just haven't found the experience of swapping it out to be worth it uh especially when like these fins already just the way the armor works i can't get them to sit straight the way the picture makes it look so no idea what's up with that like if i could pull these out on the ball joint a little bit like if these pieces here extended out it would make a little bit more sense but uh, they always kind of sit at a slightly awkward angle but, you, angle but you're supposed to be able to fold this up put the pods forward put these pods forward and this is his uh again push, push that forward and that's his high speed mode where he's basically back to being a shark with a bunch of uh thruster pods around him so kind of an alt mode uh but not really, but it's nice that they included it, I guess. He also has a couple different configurations here, because I mentioned the heads. So here is his main head. It's just kind of, I'm a shark. I'm basically grumpy. Uh, in his mech suit. But you can pop that off. There's a little socket here. And again, you can see there is a ball joint in there. This piece does twist a little bit. But once you put the head on, these side pieces kind of block any significant movement. Which is a minor letdown. But uh, he just looks cool, I think, overall. But he also has a an open mouth face. You can see there, the mouth's actually open. His eyes are a little different. That you can put on. That just sockets right back onto that that joint like that should snap a little further in but there we go yeah it does suck a little Let's push a little further in so yeah they can have them with an open mouth or if you want something more fun here he is you can give him a hammerhead and the instructions also show like you, and you can do this with either head, but the instructions show the hammer head. You can take these pods, again, those ball joints, you just pop them off with the ball joint. And then these pods up here. And then you can take these, fold them up back into that kind of thruster configuration, and attach them up here as backpack thrusters. And then uh, these pieces down here will can uh, fold down and around, and then they twist, and then you can extend the tip there and open up these little claws, which also can slide. You can see like where that, if I close this now, you can see it's much further up. They, they have a little sliding mechanism in there to open up the claws. Then you can give him, uh, you can swap these into be different arms. So not only can you get two different shark uh, varieties in the suit, you can have them in different configurations of the suit itself, which is pretty cool. Little ball joint. There we go. And there's that configuration. Again, you can see all the posability. Ball joints up here, swivels. Actually, I already went over a lot of the articulation, but yeah, it's nicely posable little shark mech with, now he's got blue thrusters on the back. You can also put the smaller back, the smaller little harpoon thing on him. Also, if you want, you can use the, the arm configuration here. And you're going to need to... Okay, you're actually going to need to swap these to the other side. Because you can put them up like this. And then instead of being thrusters, you can have them kind of fold forward 
like over the shoulder cannons, which is also pretty cool. Open them up a little bit. Now he's got some some blasters. But yeah, it's a really cool kit. Um, it's like I said, you can tell just by the size of my hands here. It's it's fairly smallish. It's not super huge, but um, like here he is with Beast Wars Cyber Shark. But like I said, really fun little kit. It, it was went together easy. Uh, I think I did it in about an hour. Um, I, I like the fact that all the plastic is molded this is not like i said none of this there's no paint there's no decal aside from the paint the pre-painted shark heads there's no uh i have not added any paint or decals or anything other than just the sheer plastic to this like even these little this little, this little insert piece to make those little inner orange dots in the in the blue thrusters just really fun little kit and uh, also if you want if you don't want regular gray shark varieties you do get unpainted versions of the head or you just want an albino shark or a blank um of all three of the heads and this this head with the mouth the open mouth it actually the mouth itself is actually uh, if i can get it out of here although i squeezed it in there it's actually two separate pieces i i can find something that'll poke in there no nope, that's not gonna work haha -ha, trusty lego the separator can get you in there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it didn't take much pressure once around. You actually get the jaw in two separate pieces, so you can hand paint the jaw and the individual teeth very easily to uh, clip those together like that. And then you just push that into the head like that. And now he's got shark teeth. Is that the right way? Should I? Yeah, no, maybe that is right. Yeah, well, I mean, it has to be. though. That only fits in one way, so that has to be the lower jaw. But yeah, you can give him paint those however you want you also get parts to build this little uh like kind of pod half pod thing and it's modular you can see there's pegs on one side and holes on the other so if you have multiple you can put them all together this little hatch also opens up for i don't know fun times that's just a just to make it look more like a deep sea exit hatch i guess um and you can you may not fit with these all the way up here like this. I'm going to have to fold these back down. But um, you can have your little dude kind of, I don't know, store or recharge there. I mean, like, it's just a shark guy. I don't know that he needs to. Maybe the mech charges up. Sharks. Oh, you know what? I bet that's what the hatch is for. The mech suit sits there and charges up. And then you can, that opens up. And the shark can just swim in right into his mech and then deploy. That's what I'm going to say it's for. The end. I guess you could swap that around too so the hatch opened the other way, but I'm pretty sure I did that right. But anyway, there is the number 57, number 57 uh, Manhunter Deep Sea Ripper. Um, like I said, I do have a second one of these on pre order that will be so I can have both different types of shark in the mech with the, with the, with the different mech configurations together because sharks are fun. I, the grave frog, I think it's cool. I may pick one of those up somewhere at some point down the line. I'm curious to see if there's any more coming out. I don't think I've seen any more announced, but it's not one I've done a deep dive on really looking that hard. So uh, if you see another one announced besides this one and the frog, let me know. I know, I know, I know. Number five seven, number fifty seven does. I keep saying that both ways because I'm not entirely sure if it's number five seven or actually number fifty seven. But uh, if you see them do actually says 57 right there on their label so it's number 57 if you see and they do other model kits but if you see any more of the manhunter series uh please let me know because uh it's possible i can miss it although i've got my finger on the pulse a little better now anyway there it is it's very cool deep sea ripper from number 57 check it out you think definitely definitely worth picking up it's a fun little kit